again, everyone. It's Todd Sturridge, the horror nerd, here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It is Saturday afternoon, the heart of the convention. Very busy here today. You can hear by the background noise. Lots of fans having a good time. Hi. I myself am having a blast. I've got to meet a lot of great people today. And I have the honor of sitting here with a true film icon, <laughs> the lovely and talented Kelly Maroney. Kelly, how are you? I'm great, Todd. How are you? I am doing great. This is fantastic. I love this show. I've never been here to this one before. It's wonderful. The yeah, so the convention's been good to you so far? Yes, and I love... I, I can't wait to walk on the boardwalk. And the Ferris wheel, was, mm. I didn't know that it was going to light up. Because I haven't been here, you know, since till like since 1982. Ah, okay, I yeah, it's it all very my, different. I can yeah. see it from my window, and I'm like, ah, this is so cool. Yeah, and we got some good weather, so it's a good time yeah. to take a stroll on the boardwalk. Oh, I'm definitely doing it. Yeah. Good for but you. But not, not right now. Good for you. Right now, we're all hard at work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, today was a very busy day, you know, well, walking and, around. It was and doing great. Last, last night was busy, too. So, good. yeah. I'm so glad the fans like. It. Well, I'm glad that the shows are back and we can feel safe doing doing this. But I'm so I'm so it's so nice to see everybody coming back. You know, um, I mean it's not nothing to attend a show. I mean you have to plan for the time. Sure. You know it costs money. Or you have to travel sometimes. So it's a commitment when the when the fans come too. And I think I'm aware of that for sure. I, I don't can't speak for everybody, but I'm sure they are too. You know, so we want to make it fun, and, and it's nice. Just, it's nice when you can see that somebody is enjoying it. Right. True, true, yeah. and you, that has been a common theme with everyone I've spoken to really? this weekend about just how great it is for to be back, yeah, and to be out after two years of lockdown. So you know, yeah. to just be interacting with one another again. Yeah. So and seeing each other too. But right. I realized I hadn't seen Felissa in three years. <laughs> That's unheard of. That's well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nuts. So, and the other thing that I always like to hear with the mm -hmm. guests that I speak with is how they enjoy seeing other, you know, film and TV people as well oh. that they might know or have always wanted to meet. Oh, sure. That's good yeah. Stuff. I mean, because I was in a movie with Bai Ling, and she's here, and I haven't gotten to say hello to her yet. And Joe Bob is right behind me. I haven't gotten to, and Darcy, mm -hmm. I've not gotten to say hello to them. And I barely saw Felissa for a second. And I've seen a little bit more of Catherine, but not a ton more than Ka of Catherine, you know, because mm -hmm. we're both doing our thing. Um, it's just great to see those faces, you know. It is. There's, it th is. There's certain people that when you just see their table, you go, oh, cool. <laughs> Listen, it's great for me, too, because in the end, I'm just a fan at heart who happens to get to do some cool stuff, you know? I know. So for me to get to meet everybody is a real thrill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's great. I feel the same way. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Kelly, you have been a part of several iconic films. I mean, I'm looking at your table know, here. I'm we lucky. got Chopping really Mall, lucky. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Night of the Comet. Mm -hmm. Does it ever surprise you that uh, after all this time, like some of these movies came out quite some time ago, that so many fans do still come to line up to meet you and talk about these movies? Yes. I'm, I, I, I can't believe my good fortune, first of all, but that these, I happen to hit a whole bunch of movies right, right at that time that people still like to this day and they show their kids to. Mm -hmm. I'm blown away. I, I, I didn't even know until like the internet came in. I had no idea if anybody was watching these movies. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, I found out. And um, I, I don't know how I got so lucky. I can, that's all I can explain. <laughs> it. I mean, Listen, you know, for, I always say fortune favors the bold. So, you know, you went out there to, you, and you, you managed to... I was a nut. That's, that's right. true. I was, yeah, I was bound and determined to do it. And, you know, it was kind of crazy for me to... To leave a home, you know, as a teenager and with five hundred dollars, and that was it. It was nuts, but it paid off, you know. And I right. thank you because it could have not paid off. And, and here, right? Yeah. And here you are. It's, here I am. That's great. It's just like boom, boom, boom. I didn't. Know. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> So you've been involved in quite a few genre films. Are mm -hmm. you yourself a horror fan? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, that's what all we watch. My husband and I, all this, pretty much all we watch. So, because it relaxes him, too. Mm. So, um, 
It's perfect. And that, that way I get to see, I get to keep on, in top, on top of my genre too because I get to see everything that's coming out so I know who's doing what. Right. And I mean, that's important. So uh, it, it works out for us to be married because if he didn't like horror, I don't know what I'd do. Oh boy. <laughs> and he, most, I, I hear that most guys feel that way too. It's like, if I met a girl who liked horror, all right, because it's hard if they She's don't. She's a keeper. <laughs> it's hard if they don't, right. Right. Well, he said to me, too, he goes, I, I was telling people, not only does she like horror, but she's in horror. They were like, oh, man. <laughs> like, Where do cool. I find one of those? <laughs> right. Yeah. It gets a bad rap, but, you know, everybody loves horror. Uh, of course. And, and I am always amazed at how many, like... Closet horror people there I are, and they, because horror gets a bad rap, they don't like to admit that they're into horror movies. I know. Well, I think we're gonna we're gonna come out and 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 release our shame from that. It's, now it's cool. Right. Now right. everybody, everybody who has all the money, you know, the A-listers or whatever it is, you know, big studios and everything, everyone's knocking themselves over to get to do horror now. But that wasn't always the case. No. No. Well, it's like nerd culture, right? Yeah. I was a nerd when you could still get beat, get beat up for right. liking comic books. Cool. Now, Avengers is the biggest movie I, on the planet, right? It just, it's just, it turned around completely. Right. No, I, I know. When I was a kid, it's like, you're going to ruin your career by doing this horror stuff. Mm. And, and, you know, at the time, they were right. But there should Look at it. I mean, you don't you don't find conventions that are geared toward romantic comedies. Right. You just, <laughs> right. period pieces. You just right. don't. You know, so, I never really thought about that. <laughs> it's a special fan base. Yeah, it's a that's very for personal sure. fan base. That's for sure. I just did a documentary on um, um, mental health and horror, mm. and there, I mean, there's something to it. It's a different vibe. Um, it's much more personal. Mm. Cool. And it's really sweet. So, um, what are you uh, uh, what are you up to these days? Are you working on anything um, new, or well, you, you, know, you just mentioned the documentary? Yeah. So maybe we we'll talk about that uh, a little bit. Well, I'm in Scare Package too. I can say that now. Okay. Um, on Shutter. Great. So, and I have a movie coming out called The Wild Man with Larry Fassenden, um, but we don't have scenes together, which is a bummer. But um, um, what else? A thing called um, Staycation, which is not out yet. It's it's a um, pandemic thing. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and there's something else too. Um, oh, oh, I have a, um, there's a very disturbing movie that I haven't seen yet, but I hear it's good. I hear it's very disturbing. Um, it's called Nightcaller, mm. where I just I had yeah, done a couple of movies for that guy, so I just came in and, and played uh, the, the woman's mother. She's dead, but I'm speaking to her in the mirror. Ah, and was, yeah, okay. Let's go off. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, so, and whatever else happens. Good. It's good. Busy is good. <laughs> yeah, busy is great. Don't give me a chance to sit down and think too much. Fantastic. I start overthinking. Forget it. Forget no it. No worries. Look, I don't want to keep you um, any longer. Just any final words you might have to the horror fans out oh, there? Man. Oh, to the, yeah. Yeah. thank you so much. You have totally made my life mm -hmm. as happy as it is. And I can't thank you enough, and I hope that that you continue to enjoy this stuff and then feel free to communicate on on social media and please come up and say hello to me and we realize that we are not here if you're not here so i think horror people know that and so thank you and i love you guys <laughs> fantastic yeah. kelly thank you so thank much you for so a few much. minutes of your time of i truly appreciate it i wish you much success with all those projects you mentioned, Thank and I hope you have a great rest of the weekend here at the convention. Well, back at you. Thank you. <laughs> right back. Kelly Maroney, everybody here at New Jersey Horrorcon and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I am the horror nerd, Todd Stroot, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.